Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you for coming back. For the past two weeks, I've just felt very scattered and I haven't been able to get in front of the camera and say the things that I want to say or say them how I want to say them. So um, we're gonna try this again today. Today I wanna talk about purpose and I wanna talk about this because it's a subject I'm always interested in. I've written about it before, I'll put the link down here. I've written an article on Thought Catalog before and I actually have another article that's sort of kind of touching on the same subject but in a different way and that's what will be coming out soon. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me um, if you want. So I wanna talk about purpose because I think it's something that comes up so often in my conversations with friends and just like, you know, in the, the conversation of society as a whole. And I think that um, I have my own perspective on purpose. I'm not a per like an expert on it. Obviously, I don't think anybody's an expert on it and you kind of just take whatever advice you agree with or maybe it resonates with you and you leave what doesn't serve you. So that's always a goal and the purpose of this channel and to be able to give you something positive to leave with. And so I hope that you do leave with something positive and I hope that this video helps you in whatever way that you're seeking help. So normally when people think about life's purpose, they equate that to a career. Actually, when you sit down and start thinking about purpose, what you're really looking for is a sense of fulfillment. And a sense of fulfillment can come in many different ways. It doesn't have to relate to your career. It can come in just living day to day. A lot of people could think that you just have one purpose in your lifetime. I think that maybe you do have one purpose, but I think that there are also people who have multiple purposes or whose purpose change uh, throughout the course of their lives. I also think that it is so okay to not have your purpose figured out. So if you go into relationships or careers or whatever it is, thinking that you're gonna find your purpose ASAP because you haven't, uh, I think that can be very limiting belief for some people and it can really, really kind of put us down if we're in a job Let's say for example, if you're in a job that you don't love, you don't feel fulfilled with the job and you you feel like it's not your purpose, but of course not everybody could just get up and leave their job immediately. A sense of fulfillment you can get in other areas of your life while you're looking for a different job or while you're trying to figure out what it is that you, that you actually want. So in the article that I wrote for the Thought Catalog a while back, I wrote about Viktor Frankl's theory that we should pursue meaning instead of happiness. And I think meaning, purpose, happiness, like they all go hand in hand. Meaning is a much stronger driving factor for you to be able to accomplish the things that you do because if you think that you are doing something that has, like it's deeply meaningful to you, and if you think that this something is contributing to the world or changing the world or um, changing yourself and it has meaning to you, that's gonna drive you to stick with it. Um, more than anything else because we have ups and downs. We see we cannot always be in a really really happy state of mind because that's just not sustainable and because we wouldn't be able to appreciate happiness when it comes. I think meaning and sense of fulfillment are two very important factors in whatever endeavor you're embarking in whether it be a personal project or your hobby or if you're changing your body or if you're changing your life like whatever it is has to be deeply meaningful to you so that you're able to stick with it. If I give career as an example because I know that that's just something that most people can relate to so if you're in a job that you don't like maybe what you need at the time is to reflect a little bit more and to say like okay well maybe I don't like this um, and maybe that's why you've been put in that situation because you're being forced to reflect and you're being forced to make a move if it's something that you know it's urgent for you or if it's something that you just don't want anymore I feel like those bad moments or those kind of bad feelings or negative feelings in life really propel you to move in the right direction and they propel you to move quickly and I think that's just as necessary as being somewhere where you feel uh, fulfilled and you feel like you're fulfilling your life's purpose I think we, we need all of that it's important to remember when you're in a dark space or when you don't know why you're in a situation or when you're just like kind of over whatever it is you know your job your relationship or whatever I think that it's important to reflect and to understand why you're there you can use your more negative feelings or more negative uh, or darker life experiences to help move you to the light or help to move you forward. So with that said, try not to rob yourself of the experiences that you're having in life. For example, if there's something that you have to do daily, like if you're just trying to work out or you're start trying to start a fitness routine or something and you go every day to the gym and every day you're thinking in your mind, oh my God, I don't wanna be here and like, let me just 
get this over how can i like stop the workout how can i like cheat the workout when you're cheating something you're basically cheating yourself what you want to do is recognize those thoughts immediately and change them or cut them off either don't like stop thinking about it like just completely be in the moment um think about like your your sets or your reps or listen to music or like okay i'm gonna have to do this like i already committed to doing this and i'm gonna have to do this regardless of whether or not i'm happy about doing it so it might as well be positive and might as well say like you can do this let me stick it through and let me try to get stronger by doing this i just think that's like a mindset that applies to everything there's certain experiences that are not going to go away and you you have to figure out like what you're going to do with your thoughts like how are you going to address this in a positive way or in a negative way are you going to be neutral and then with the same topic i guess i'm not going in any specific order i'm just kind of talking about things that i want to discuss like as it pertains to purpose and happiness in life um so there's really no order i feel like u.s society has this perspective of optimizing every second of your life it's the best use of my time which is great to get work done and it's great like during work but for your actual life I think that sometimes it's good to take a step back realizing that you can't optimize every single life experience so okay maybe going for the walk is not the best use of my time but it is gonna give me um, the mental clarity it's probably gonna make me happier and I'm not gonna feel like I'm working all day at you know sitting at a desk there has to be a balance between the two so some days you have to say let me enjoy this part of life that is not going to always you know be there for me people say work-life balance i don't think that work-life balance means work you know nine to five then go home and like ha watch tv or read a book or whatever and then you have work-life balance because that's not realistic sometimes you have to work from day to night sometimes you have deadlines or projects coming up where you're gonna have to work all week you know non-stop and then after that maybe you take a weekend off or maybe you take an extra day off or um, you know after you have a really long season of work maybe you go on make a two-week vacation a work-life balance doesn't really mean daily like work-life balance be conscious of how much you're pushing your body and your mind and for how long and when that needs to stop or when you need a break so it can look differently for different people last thing i want to say is that if you feel like you're lacking purpose you're lacking fulfillment like direction happiness there has never been a time where i have felt bad and um, i've asked things of our creator or the universe or god and i haven't received answers so i encourage you to do that even if you don't necessarily believe um, or maybe you think like you're just talking to thin air you never know the answers that you might actually get and if anything you are releasing that energy from your body and so you're saying it out loud which makes it a little bit easier to carry so i encourage you to you know not even like think about developing a spiritual practice or make things very complicated just literally sit down and say god or universe or i feel just very lost in life if you could please help me like show me the direction or show me some clarity um and it can be a very simple question i'm certain that you will get an answer to the very best in this journey i hope that you feel a little bit more comforted and i hope that you feel a little less pressure after watching this video i hope that you go and read a book or make some dinner or go for a walk and enjoy some of the beautiful small things that life has to offer thank you for watching i appreciate your time and thank you for being here and i will see you next week